Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 30th, 2020. So the last trading day in April, can we finish out this month strong? It's going to be an interesting situation this morning. So we had a huge, huge rally yesterday. The FOMC has come out and said they'll do whatever is necessary for as long as necessary. And the market really loves um, that FOMC money being printed and pushed around. So we rallied up strongly yesterday. But what does that mean for today? How about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have an interesting situation. We have um, a market that um, had some really good earnings after the bell yesterday, a lot of tech positiveness going around out there um, yesterday after the bell. We had the FOMC, you know, basically saying, hey, we'll do whatever we have to do. We'll just keep buying up everything in sight as long as we have to, to um, support the market. And he even called on Congress saying, we're gonna need some more stimulus help because the unemployment number is going to be a major problem. And um, asking, um, kind of putting some pressure on Congress to provide more uh, deficit spending, more stimulus to the economy. Um, he went on to say that unemployment is going to be a problem for some time and expects the impacts of that unemployment to um, last more than a year. So it'll be interesting to see um, how all of this plays out. Now, first thing this morning when I got up, um, my alarm goes off at about 4.30 in the morning and I got up and looked at the futures markets. Futures were looking positive, they were looking higher. Now we've gone into a little bit of a choppiness here and those futures are now currently Currently, just slightly negative on the morning. So who knows what's going to happen as we move toward that big economic data point of the unemployment number this morning. So let's keep an eye on that. But let's take a look at the technicals. Let's take a look at the price action of the chart and see what we can glean from this information. Right now, what we've got is we have a bullish trend that is continuing to hold. Now, being up so many days in a row, I gotta tell you, I believe personally that the market is overextended at the moment. The bullishness here is has been relentless and that doesn't mean that the market has to fall or anything like that we could we could camp out in here as a matter of fact this could end up being the biggest monthly rally in the market in decades which is remarkable when you consider the condition of the economy but that's where we are and that's what we're looking at. So right now, taking a look at the market, we've rallied above this little price resistance that we had set right here. And now the Dow is pushing up into more resistance levels in the chart. You can see we have more resistance levels here to deal with. And we pushed up there yesterday, smacked into that and pulled back just ever so slightly. Now this morning we're facing that jobless number that could top 30 million and um, a huge, huge day of earnings reports. So honestly, anything is possible today. Um, we've had the ability to absolutely ignore the unemployment situation. For some reason, the market just, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know anything about it. Um, we've been able to ignore it. We were able to completely ignore a GDP that was a horrific number, showing that uh, consumer spending was far less than economists had expected, showing some major impacts here on the economy. And, and, and honestly, how can that be a surprise when we've got 30 million people out of work that consumer spending pulls back? So kind of an interesting situation here, and I can't really tell you what's going to happen. I, I wish I could. I wish I could give you a prediction of where we're going to go. I just think, uh, but I, but honestly, um, 
the market is, in my opinion, being very irrational right now, but that's okay. What we have to do as traders is stay focused on price and be prepared in case something changes. So first off, if we take a look at this and you can see we have a very strong rally going on, we just have to watch this closely. If we start breaking down this rally, hey, we know that it's time to start backing up, taking some profits, backing away, um, and we could see volatility kick up. However, if um, the market Markets continue to push through and the bulls just stay relentlessly buying um, watch these resi resistance levels up there ride this rally as long as it lasts because we don't know how long it can continue so keep an eye on that closely it may be today that we actually get that reversal um, a little bit of pullback a little bit of profit taking in the market Having said that though, I don't know that it'll be terrible. Um, if we do pull back, we could pull back into this 50 day moving average, catch a little support right in here and be just fine. We could also pull back below that 50 day moving average. No one wants to see that, but here's our stronger level of price support right now. And if we pulled back into there, um, not terrible. Now, one thing I will tell you is if we take a look at the Dow itself, um, that's a pretty substantial pullback. So if we pull back into he from here and pull back into this support level, we're looking at 1,700, 1,800 points down. So that could be a significant um, sell-off and maybe a little bit shocking actually it, um, in that move, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, by the way, if we, if we just pull back to that 50 day moving average, it's also very substantial. Just pulling back would be almost a thousand points. So pretty remarkable um, how far we have stretched this market out and the big numbers that we're talking about. So watch that carefully. Be, be wise and make sure you're prepared in case the market does decide to uh, pull back there if profit takers do come in. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also technically unbelievably strong here. Um, the bulls have stretched this market out um, into an incredible place. And we broke through this resistance right here. That could now serve as support. If that doesn't serve as support, let's look at that 50 day moving average as support. And if that doesn't serve as support, well, we have support just below right there in the price action. As we continue to push up in this market on the SPY, you can see we're challenging um, more resistance levels in the market. And um, pushing up in here, um, there's significant resistance up there around that 200 day moving average. So can we push on up there? Absolutely, we can. We've shown a complete defiance here of anything um, uh, numbers wise in the market. We just wanna buy. So keep a close eye on that. Let's watch it very carefully. And just in case um, it does happen to uh, begin to slip south. Let's take a look at uh, the Qs. Now the QQQ gave a little bit of a warning sign right here of some trouble but boy with all of those good earnings reports that we saw last night they've completely reversed all of that move making this kind of an interesting situation where we're breaking through new levels of resistance in the chart and think about the condition of the market and we are very very close to being back to record highs here in the nasdaq pretty amazing um, the strength of this bullish run. So stay with the pro stay with the rally, stay with the run as long as it lasts. How long? I don't know. Um, I would be watching carefully this level of price resistance up here in the chart. If we push up into there, let's watch that closely and carefully. Pullbacks in here could be substantial if we do pull back, if we happen to hit some bad earnings reports or whatever. Um, they could be substantial, but right now let's just stay with the trend as long as the trend continues. IWM, IWM also finally got a really big surge yesterday, gapping up and surging really strongly. Um, obviously well above its 50 day moving average. Now we've completely taken out, finally uh, bested that uh, 2018 low. And we're up here testing some new levels in the market. We're up here testing this resistance right in here of the chart. So this morning we're seeing IWM gapping substantially lower. 
um, giving back a good portion of yesterday's move. Whether that will hold throughout the day, I don't know. But I do think this is a, a an extraordinary uh, move up and very, very stretched. So a pullback, a rest to come back in here into this uh, trend it does seem uh, to be likely. And, then, and by the way, it doesn't have to pull back. It could consolidate over toward that trend um, and be just fine. So let's take a look at the VIX. VIX saw some more selling yesterday, pulled back. We're getting calmer and calmer in that fear. That's a nice thing to see. Our next level of support in this chart is right down in here. As you can see, we've got these tops in here. So we could pull back down all the way into here, catch some support. If we do happen to get some fear creeping up in the market, let's watch these levels up in here. We could bang into this level, find that price resistance right here in there and serve as resistance. And if that doesn't hold, in any upside move we still have that price right up in here of that 50-day moving average and that level right there so if if it does surge back up um, we have some levels to provide us some resistance um, in that chart now let's take a look at t21 22 and t21 22 inspired me yesterday uh, to pick up um, some additional short positions in IWM. And um, right now they're looking positive this morning. Whether they'll stay that way, I don't know. But um, we are up here pegged um, ab about as high as we <laughs> we ever get <laughs> in uh, T2122. We are stretched out in a big way. So a little bit of profit taking would not be a big surprise but let's keep in mind just because we're pegged up here doesn't necessarily mean that we have to fall um, we've seen periods in the market where we just bounce around up here um, here's a good a good example we were very extended during this period of time in the market and all we did was bounce don't got it all we did was bounce around up here in that level um, we could do the same thing here so it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to collapse but this is our bearish reversal zone and we'll want to watch that pretty closely the fact that we just have extended 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 this rally this month to a a decade level multi-decade level record is extraordinary and um, we'll want to watch that carefully and not be too surprised if some profit taking starts coming in here soon let's take a look at our economic calendar for today today and this is going to be a big drive for uh, this morning at least I think it might be a big driver but so far the markets had the capacity to just absolutely ignore these numbers we have a jobless claim number here at 8:30 this morning um, the expectation is that our joblessness could reach over 30 million um, in the country historic levels um, it's it's truly remarkable for me to see the market rallying with um, unemployment numbers like that but we there it is we have it we're seeing it so let's watch that closely we also have personal incomes and outlays they're looking for a uh, pretty substantial decline in that as well um, employment cost index CPI natural gas report those aren't expected to move the market all that much and then the Fed balance sheet this afternoon and we all know that's just growing exponentially by trillions and trillions as the FOMC just keeps buying and buying and buying. So keep an eye on that this morning. Um, on our earnings calendar, we have a massive day of earnings. We have over 400 companies reporting today. Um, later on this afternoon, we'll hear from Amazon. Um, Amazon, uh, I don't know. Amazon has had unprecedented sales um, as the pandemic has, has really put pressure on them. Um, as for me, even as a as a um, uh, prime customer, um, their shipping has slowed way down. Everything has become very, very difficult for Amazon because they're so busy. And now I understand that they're facing some strikes. So pretty interesting situation going on here. But Amazon um, looks like it's gapping up this morning. Everyone is uh, pretty much assuming they're going to have a um, good report. We'll have to wait and see. We also have Apple. Now, Apple could be a little bit interesting. You know, they 
they they noted during the virus situation that phone sales and stuff were diminished and, and declined. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Right now, the bulls are pushing that up as well. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how they report um, their sales numbers. Um, uh, with so many people being unemployed, I got to imagine fewer phones are being sold. And their release of that new cheap phone um, kind of indicates that that might be the issue. So watch that closely. We're also going to hear from companies like um, Altria. Um, Mo's going to report today. ConocoPhillips um, is going to report. We'll hear from uh, Dow Chemical. We'll hear from... Um, G-I-L-D. Gilead, we'll hear from them today. We'll hear from Goodyear Tire, um, Kellogg's. We've got a big day. MGM will be reporting. Um, SO is reporting. Visa will be reporting today. WDC is on the list for today. Um, so we've got a huge range of companies reporting, more than I want to cover here in the video, but a huge range of companies reporting. So be prepared for some volatility, some back and forth in these stocks as they report. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, a few things that might be of interest. And before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Um, as you can see in these videos, they're a little bit different. I don't do any, there's no hype, there's no prediction here whatsoever. However, we look at the technicals of the chart and the price action of the chart, trying to determine how we want to approach the market for the day. And if you find that to be helpful, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Channel keeps growing and I want to say thank you to you. Um, that could not happen without you. Um, you're the best. Thank you very much. So let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up and a few things to be making note of. Um, one thing I mentioned earlier, I alluded to here was IWM. Now I believe IWM is extremely extended at this point. And um, I actually placed a bear call credit spread up here on that trade. Now, I don't know if that's gonna work out or not, but I do think there's a high probability after an extraordinary rally for a month of some kind of rest consolidation or pullback. So you might want to consider some of those trades. Be careful with some of your long positions and be watching for potential exit points if things start to turn around. Be a little bit careful on those trades. I also did a couple things. I, I, I own XLF. Um, to hedge XLF because we're pushing this resistance. And I, I do think um, there's a pullback coming or a little bit of rest coming. Um, I sold some calls against this, more of a covered call position to hedge this trade um, in case of a pullback. So I'm taking some of those precautionary measures to hedge myself um, in current positions that I, that, um, I am holding. So I'm thinking a, a little bit of weakness may come into the market. I could be wrong, but let's watch that closely. Now on the other side of the coin, there are so many good stocks right now showing signs of strength. Take a look at Starbucks here. Starbucks holding um, tremendous strength in this rally. Um, we're pushing up into this price resistance and yesterday we had a little tiny bit of selling coming into that, but let's watch this level up here. It's been holding up. This was my um, alert in the trade. Starbucks Bucks looking good. Um, stocks like APA, this was my original alert in the trade, um, just moving up really, really strong. Anything in oil and energy um, is very, very strong right now, moving up. And you can see it's gapping higher this morning and gapping into this area. Now, APA is not you know the best of companies to trade if you're an option trader, but take a look at like CVX. CVX moving up nice and strong, holding up in its trend. We are pushing some resistance levels in the chart, so there could be a pullback at any time 
Remember, any time we are up five, six, seven days in a row, we have to be thinking that profit takers are going to come in at any time. So watch that closely. There may We may start seeing some pullbacks in some of these trades. Keep an eye on stocks like uh, PepsiCo. PepsiCo um, reported and um, you can see got a little bit of a pullback yesterday and we're holding in this area but pepsico is one of those old stodgy defensive sector companies um, people are still drinking pepsi um, and all of the products that they have and you can see um, as it stabilizes up here in this upper region as long as we hold this support area there may be opportunity for upside here um, eventually so watch stocks like that take a look at stocks like fox a fox a really taking off here um, fox really moving up strong and any rest consolidation or pullback now that holds us in above um, this support area and that trend provides an opportunity and you can see there is plenty of upside room here um, as a potential in fox a uh, the casinos are continuing to look strong take a look at lvs lvs holding up in this pattern we're dealing with this um, um, wedge or um, triangle pattern. And you can see we're pushing that resistance. I wouldn't be all that surprised if this consolidates a little bit, pulls back. But remember, we have MGM reporting and MGM um, could actually influence these um, um, markets to go higher in these casino stocks. Take a look at WYNN, also showing lots of strength in this rally, holding up well as they uh, look to reopen those casinos. Other places that are kind of of interest, um, um, Nike is an interesting chart to me. It's not ready to trade, in my opinion, but Nike is a very interesting chart to me. And we're holding up in this little trend right in here. And although we're kind of bouncing around in this area, notice we're kind of setting up a range here that's relatively tight. Now, Nike, if it can continue holding in this range, we want to watch for that opportunity. Now, the reason I favor upside is because currently trend is upside. And what I would want to do is watch Watch as this continues to consolidate and maybe see if we can catch that pop out of there um, in a chart like that. So some of the retailers starting to show some signs and come back up. So there's a few charts for you to look at to maybe chew on uh, today. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. I hope wish you great profits. Um, Everyone, have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Take care. Be safe. Have a great day.